MC Mining K Man here, and welcome to this next episode on the Crystal Craft server. Well, I'm here in spawn because I need to get a few more achievements done. I haven't really been uh, doing any of them lately. Like I have not done the uh, the cake one, uh, the pig one. I could probably do. Built notch apple. It still will not give me this uh, this gold one. I don't know what's up with that. I got overkill. I really don't remember. I got a couple in some of the t gameplay that I was doing and not recording while my gaming computer was not back. Did... Oh yeah, I killed a ghast with a f its own fireball. We're gonna leave a blaze. All right. Well, this is the one that I need to do. I need to locate the end so that I can get this next stuff. Um, start getting this next thing unlocked. And then this is the extra achievements, which I haven't really been doing any of let's see how I'm not sure how this works I'll look into that later but anyway let's see get my gear on let's see let's take the sharpness I have enders. Don't think I'll need any tools. Let's see, ultimate, teth. Oh, they do keep this fairly up to date. That's kind of nice. All right. A couple of the uh, staff have taken breaks for the school year. Yeah. Let's see. Crystal Craft Brothers and Creative Server. Now, oh, one of them used to be the. Uh, Project Midnight Sun Portal, but I guess they chose to change that. And let me see. I don't think the arena's made any progress either. Nope. I should just take down the coming soon and let people just battle in that uh, in that empty field. Oh, can't even enter it. Okay. So let's run out here a little ways. Actually, I don't even know which direction to go. I didn't see it go anywhere. Just going to come out here away from trees and everything. I've not played with the new animation. So we gotta go this way. So if the, uh, I got quite a ways to go, so I, I'll get back with you.
this is ridiculous. I've walked around this stupid place for probably 25 frickin' minutes trying to find this room. It was, I just, I kept going in circles. I kept using my uh, eyes of Ender and it kept sending me all different directions, but here I am finally, and I'll go on in. Oh, what? Oh, what was that? Why did it stick me here? Why did it do that? I have no idea. All right, well, I made it to the end and just achieved, there it is, locate the end. Unfortunately, I have to fight the dragon to get the next achievement, but at least I'm getting stuff knocked out. Oh, what, what about that uh, Boots of the Traveler? Oh, Adventuring Time. Boots of the Traveler, I think, is the console version. Discover all biomes, which I am still working on. I will get to eventually. Uh, the portal's not even activated. How does that happen? Alright, I'll set my home right here. Alright, I needed to gather some stuff. And uh, set out on a journey. Alright, I'm back. Just been collecting some of these uh, in stone. And I'm going to try making a flying machine, actually, to go out into the void. And I've got a reference picture up on my desktop. And it looks to be... A super simple uh, setup. Oh, that was in the wrong spot. So it's a regular piston, slime block, sticky piston. Just got to remove these. Another normal piston. One space. This needs to be a space. Slime block. Your writing platform. Redstone on top of that. And then you need to remove your anchor point. And it looks like if you place the redstone on one of these two, it starts. But let me go see. Uh, let me reset my home here. Home, new home. Th this design calls for a boat, but I'm pretty sure that Jay Flory turned off boats so that you cannot ride a uh, flying machine um, on your own. Uh, you just sit on it and let it take you. I think you have to uh, walk with it. Alright, so you take the boat and you put it up here. Yep, boats are turned off in the end. Oh well. We will try to do this without it then. So I took all my good stuff off. I should probably interchest some of my food. Go ahead and put the boat back. Don't care about these things, so let's go ahead and try this. Looks like you stick it on the sticky. 
Okay. Hmm. So does it at least... Okay, it does pull it forward. I don't want this thing taken off without me. So... Put it... Do I break this one then? Oh, yes. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Well... Oh, can I, can I power tool jump? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, home. End. Oh, there goes a flying machine out into the void. Never to be seen again. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh well. Uh, I'll be right back. Well, I just tried it again from this side and died again. Uh, the uh, flying machines are just way too glitchy in the end without a boat confirmed. So good job, Jay Flory. You have effectively and efficiently prevented us from being able to surf the void in a flying machine. <laughs> Which I guess is okay, because uh, people would be going out, you know, 30 million blocks and building the bases out there, which I wouldn't mind doing, but at least this keeps people in, I mean, you can still pillar out, I guess, which I don't want to take the time. I wanted to see if a flying machine could do it. It would make things easier. Oh, well. On to something else. Alright, I'm going to give this another try. I am right outside of spawn this time. Uh, this is in the wrong spot. Oh well. Alright, so it goes there. <sighs> Back too far. Uh Why do I keep putting that there? I don't know. Early in the morning, no coffee yet. Well, in the early in the morning for me. There we go. Space a block. This would be my writing platform. Redstone. Right. Gotta remove these just in case they try taking the whole world with them. All right. Does a boat place? No. Why is a boat not placing? Why is a boat not placing? All right. Um, that puddle of water might be within spawn. Okay, I'll try jumping down on the stream. Let's see. Oh, that was man-made. All right. Yeah, you just put it down and hop in. Alright. 
So if you accidentally clip the edge of the ground. All right, and I walk away and I'm gonna right click, nothing. Right click on the ground and the boat comes back to me. Huh. So I'm, I'm gonna right click it on this block. I'm gonna come over here I'm going to right click this block and the boat comes back. But I can place it in the water. Now I'm right clicking the grass, all of this, and the boat does not reappear. Huh. So uh, the ability to turn, put boats onto anything other than water, I guess has been turned off. I wonder. Ooh. Somebody's been building over here. Obviously, already found if glass is broken, but this is kind of nice. Swag cave. Don't be mad. Oh. Okay, there's a starter home right outside of spawn. Of course it's gonna get found, but that's kind of nice. Oh, I was going to check. So, I'm probably gonna to need to have some more dirt than this. So if we place a boat in water and then take away the water, what happens to the boat? So let's just make this one deep. All right, six more pieces of dirt. All right, so we place, place the boat in the water. Ooh. All right, is that in the water? Is that considered in the water? So if we left shift while trying to place, there we go. We can, we can still do it. Let's see if it, there's no turning it or anything. Okay, so it, it is possible. I think I have a water bucket in my ender chest. Whoa. Did I, is it that mountain? Or did I not? I went too far, didn't I? Yes, it overshot me. All right, so grab my ender chest bucket. So we put some water right there. No, no. Okay. Ah. Gonna have to be somewhat quick about it then. Ah. All right. So we put the boat, take the water out, nudge the boat forward. There we go. All right. Now it's a matter of trying to. All right, so can I, I can't place it when I'm in there. We are going to figure this thing out. Ah.
So was it? I was placing it on that and this. Nope. How did I get that thing working? Placed it on the slime. And then there. Oh, and then I broke the back one, I think. No. Broke the one that was on. There we go. We got a flying machine going. Can I turn the boat again? Nope. So you do have to be a little careful whatever position you choose to uh get that. Is that blocks? Okay, there we go. You do have to be careful with placing the boat on the water when you remove the water. Now this is by no means a quick process of travel. And if I wasn't here at my computer with me, I'm sure this would be considered avoiding uh, the uh, the 20 minute idle kick. So I guess this is my disclaimer. If you build one of these things, if you build one of these things and you get caught, <laughs> uh, you're probably going to get uh, in trouble with the staff. Because you better figure out a way to disable it. So, I don't think, uh, yeah, stone pick's not fast enough to, uh, break that. So, to turn it off, you gotta try to. Hmm. What about my shovel? Is that fast enough to break the dirt? Oh no. Ah. And two of my god items. Alright, I just got back here. And there's the flying machine. It, up, oh, up, oh, the, uh, where's it? There it is. So with the chunk unloaded and loading back up, it looks like it has reset, it reset the redstone and turned the flying machine off. Yes, it did. All right, so flying one of these things in uh, multiplayer is extremely glitchy, unreliable, and uh, you can't really turn it off once it starts. At least not from the seating position, because when you try to get out, it'll launch you. So you'd have to make a much larger platform, but then it glitches and you'd fall through the platform anyways. Alright, so lesson learned. Alright, that's... Okay, one last point of discussion. Uh, so, I'm on my gaming computer again, and uh, the... The hard drive that I was using, that I had all of my uh, intro, outro, sound, music files, uh, royalty-free music files, uh, 
a lot of my video saves and edits and all that stuff I uh, was on a uh, hard drive that was just simply Minecraft related. Well, that hard drive uh, did not start back up when I plugged it into my computer. It just did not start spinning. So I got onto Google and did a search and found out that if you swap out just the uh, circuit board, the uh, hard drive controller, that uh, you can probably restore the drive. So I got onto eBay. Well, first I checked like Amazon and Overstock and they were wanting like twice the price of just the hard drive and that wasn't going to be worth it. So I got onto eBay and found somebody that was selling the card for like 16 17 dollars or something and uh i went ahead and bought it i got it in the mail and swapped out the controller cards on the hard drive plugged it in hard drive starts up and it spins but there is no data being read so i have i'm going to take another look at it again today but currently, I have to gear myself up for the strong possibility that all that data is permanently lost. So, I'm going to have to rebuild my music folder. Uh, fortunately, I had the couple things saved on to my Google Drive. So that's how I've been able to do my overlays for my uh, uh, thumbnails on YouTube. And I had all my fonts backed up onto a different hard drive. So I've been able to limp along, but I think I'm going to end up having to rebuild my intro and outro again. And the last point was I was going to, uh, I was going to try playing some other of my older games but I have both my computers upgraded to Windows 10 and Windows 10 is completely not allowing me to run my old games I can install them I can start them but they will not run so my Myst series is no good my MechWarrior series is no good I have not tried my Mass Effect stuff. Um, I do have a couple other games, but I wasn't going to do a series on those. Um, I'm looking at my, my game titles right here. I didn't want to bother with Spore or Crisis. I didn't want to do Red Faction series. So... For the time being, it's just going to be Minecraft unless I find some little uh, uh, Steam game or uh, some small little game to uh, play with for a short time. So, kind of good for you, but uh, I really wanted to get some other games played. I might go back to Hawkins since that's a, a Steam game. Um, Half-Life 2... That's a Steam game, so that should still work. So I might have to look into that. But anyway, enough of that bad news. I just want to thank you all for watching this video, and I will start working on another intro and outro. See you next time. Bye.